a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, otherwise known as removal of the gallbladder using keyhole surgery, is performed under general anesthesia. The patient is prepped and draped in the usual fashion. A 10 mm incision is made just below the umbilicus or belly button and a port is inserted through this incision into the abdominal cavity. A gas supply is then connected and the abdominal cavity inflated with carbon dioxide to a pressure of approximately 15 millimeters of mercury. A 10 millimeter fiber optic camera is inserted via this port and this gives an excellent view of the abdominal contents. Three further 5 millimeter incisions are made and ports are placed similarly through these incisions. These allow the long instruments that you can see here to be inserted and these instruments are used to dissect the gallbladder. An excellent view is relayed to the monitor as shown here. The first part of the operation is to dissect out the cystic duct which joins the gallbladder onto the common bile duct and the cystic artery which provides its blood supply. Both structures are surrounded by fat and this is being dissected free of these important structures using diathermy or heat. The cystic artery is the thinner of the two tube-like structures shown here. A clip applicator is then inserted via the uppermost port the cystic artery is clipped first with two clips on the staying side and one clip on the going side The process is repeated on the cystic duct. The cystic artery is then divided with scissors between the first and second clips and similarly the cystic duct. The gallbladder is then dissected using diathermy from its attachments to the undersurface of the liver.
the final attachments are divided and the gallbladder is then entirely free. It is grasped and extracted from the abdominal cavity via the 10 mm port just below the umbilicus. All ports are then removed and any remaining gas is allowed to escape. The 10 mm port below the umbilicus and the three other 5 mm ports are then closed using dissolvable sutures that go beneath the skin. They therefore do not need to be removed. The wounds are dressed with a waterproof dressing and these should remain in place for a week and then removed. If they fall off prematurely this is not a problem, they can simply be left open to the fresh air. In the meantime the patient can shower normally, simply dab dry with a towel. Opening the specimen at the end of the operation reveals thickened bile and numerous gallstones.